Talk about a big swing today. Snow this morning and now more storms. Yeah, we're going to see a little bit of everything here in the next <laughs> uh, little while over this 24 hour time span getting just about everything. Yeah. Uh, right now the story, the winds is it is a windy evening after a windy afternoon and these winds will stay with us for the next 24 hours plus could be gusting as high as 40 miles per hour at times. Right now, sustained winds between 10 and 20, but again, they are gusting higher than that in some locations. At times, the camera here at Michigan State University shakes a bit, but all in all, not too bad out there right now. Clouds are on the increase, but temperatures are also kind of on the rise. They'll likely plateau in the next hour or two. They'll drop a little bit as we head towards 1 or 2 a.m. Then they'll likely go up as we head towards daybreak tomorrow. Upper 40s, lower 50s right now. No rain to speak of in lower Michigan at the moment, but you can see showers and thunderstorms back to the west with this large system that is getting us round two. Round one was late last night and early this morning. That snow now two hour north, but round two is going to be rain, maybe a few thunderstorms overnight and early tomorrow. Let's get right to future track and we'll time it out for you hour by hour. This evening should be fairly quiet, but clouds are going to be on the increase by 11 o'clock tonight. Still dry, uh, but you can see the clouds are thickening up quite a bit. Overnight rain starts to move in. Here's 4 a.m. and you can see scattered showers and a few thunderstorms starting to move through. This front could produce some strong winds and maybe some lightning and thunder as well. Now overall the severe threat I don't think is that high, but I'm not going to rule out some strong winds with this line that moves through. It's going to be kind of a broken line, but within these thunderstorms there could be some strong winds over 50 miles per hour gusting the high even higher in some locations. That's going to be our biggest concern as this moves through. As we get you closer to 10 a.m. that line should be out of here, but a couple of lingering spotty showers will be possible through about lunchtime. After that, take a look at what happens. Most of Friday afternoon is looking nice. It will be windy, but not too bad looking. We'll see decreasing clouds and that means more sunshine. And with that wind coming in more southerly, we're going to see temperatures climb back into the 60s. So it's going to be a nicer looking afternoon, but we have to get through Friday morning. Again, the biggest concern is going to be those winds, mainly within those stronger thunderstorms. Now I'm also not going to rule out some hail as well. We're pretty cold loft, so not that hard to get some hail to form. But again, the biggest concern is going to be those winds. Tonight we're down into the mid 40s. A dry start to the night, but come 4 or 5 a.m. showers and thunderstorms start to move in. These will be around for your morning commute. So you may want to give yourself some extra time on your drive to the office. It's also going to be very windy as well. Tomorrow we top out in the low 60s after showers and thunderstorms in the morning. We'll see decreasing clouds, more sunshine in the afternoon, but it will stay windy. So keep that in mind if you have any plans to be out on Friday. I think Saturday is going to be a pretty nice looking day, but it will be a cooler day. Lower 50s for highs. Sunday a dry start, but showers return for the second half of the day. That rain lingers into early Monday and then more rain likely Wednesday into Thursday of next week. Round one, check. Round two <laughs> tonight, more rounds in the coming days, yeah. but uh, we're getting through it. A pretty soggy stretch. <laughs> yes, it is, and it's going to be windy tonight. So. All right, Brett, thank you.